Are you ready to hula along with me? If so, stay tuned. Aloha everyone, it's Lynn with I Hula Hawaii, bringing the hula of Hawaii to you. And in today's video, I have another version of Umupalakua. Now, as you know, I like to take the choreography that we've learned in one hula and apply it to different mele or songs so that we have a variety of ways to do our hula. I just recently stumbled across this version of Umupalakua and it has another verse in it. So if this is your first time tuning in and you want to go ahead and learn the hula of Ulupalakua, I'll go ahead and link that video series below. If you've already learned it and are ready to hula along, we're going to do verses 1 and 2. The new verse is verse 3 and then we're going to end with our hyena. I'm also going to talk a little bit about what we're dancing about in verse 3 and give a little bit more background about Ulupalakua. If you're ready, let's get started. A popular translation of the name Ulupalakua is breadfruit ripened on the back. According to Hawaiian legend, an ancient chief would send his attendants to Hana for ulu, breadfruit, a starchy and nutritious staple food that was also used for wood, craft materials, and medicine. There were no horses or mules on the island yet, so they had to travel by foot, and the ulu ripened by the time they reached this area of the island. Ulu Palakua was written by John Pi'ilani Watkins. The composer visited Ulu Palakua in upcountry Maui on the southwestern slopes of Haleakala. He was so impressed by the cold mountain air, the scent of ginger, and the cowboys, he composed this melee in 1947 to honor the district. This version of Ulu Palakua is performed by Rani Kauhelauli'i. After a long day of rigorous and sometimes solitary work under the hot Hawaiian sun, the paniolo, or cowboys, would often gather to kanikapila, play music, and sing songs like this one, written about upcountry Maui's Ulupalakua Ranch, the home of the cowboys where the evening brings a little tingle. Verse 3 translates as, To see the beauty of kaho'olave. The pigs were taken, the cattle bites. The land where Ulupalakua Ranch is now was once before farmed by the early Hawaiians of sweet potatoes, dry lantero, as they harvested wood, birds, and pigs from the forested areas. The bare slopes that you see today were once covered with sweet-smelling sandalwood and koa trees. From this area, you can see the beautiful island of Kaho'olave. Ulupalakua Ranch is still in operation today with both a ranch store and grill. Next time you're on the island of Maui or plan a visit, take a drive over to the southwest slopes and have a visit. Let's get started with our hula. Oh, 
this version of Ulu Palakua. I really enjoy dancing to this melee. I love the falsetto voice and I love the instruments and the arrangement. Go ahead and leave me a comment below because I'd love to hear what you thought about the song. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share it with a friend that you would like to invite them to do the hula with you. And please give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I really look forward to seeing you back next week for more hula with I Hula Hawaii. Until we see each other again, ahui ho and aloha. Oh, <laughs>